Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a special guest with us today. I'm delighted to introduce St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas, so good to have you at Holy Family today. Hello, Bob. It's excellent to see you, my friend. Have you been a good boy this year? I've been uh, pretty good. I've been better than the year has been. I'll, I'll say yeah. that. Much. Yes. yes, I do understand that. I do understand. Well, the good news is, is that I heard that this fellow Santa Claus is uh, immune to the COVID, so we should be okay this year. I'm glad to hear that. That sounds good. Well, St. Nicholas, you are known worldwide as one of the greatest gift givers of all time and known for your generosity. How did you become such a generous person? Well, Bob, that's a very good question. Very good question. I was lucky to be born into a well-off family, so my parents, they were uh, very, very good at, at, at providing goods in the community and helping their friends. And so they became very, very wealthy. So when I was still a young man, I decided to dedicate my life to God and to use the money that came from my family to help the needy and the sick and the suffering, which is very, very important that we all do. One story that they still tell about me, I've heard, uh, involves a poor man with three daughters who wanted to marry. And in those days, a young woman's father had to offer uh, potential husbands something of value. This was called a dowry. And because this man was poor, his daughters had no dowries, and so they couldn't marry. But because of the wealth that had been given to me and to my family, I secretly visited their house and tossed three bags of gold into stockings that they had left before the fire to dry. So the daughters had dowries and could marry. And this very thing led to the tradition of children hanging stockings for gifts. Very good, that's a wonderful story. That's and I remember in my childhood, in our Christmas stocking, there was always a tangerine in the toe of a stocking. And I think kind of represents the gold that St. Nicholas threw into the stockings of the, the three girls of the poor man. So yes. that's a terrific yes. story. Yes. Very true, very true. So in addition to your, your reputation as a great gift giver, I also understand that you were one of the leaders of the early Christian church. Is that true? Yes, yes, I was. And, you know, it is important for each of us to serve in our roles in the church. And as you can see here, I'm here at Holy Family, at your very church. I was able to find a way to come and be here in the sanctuary to talk to you today. So I'm so very glad to be here, though I'm so sad that you're not here with me. But we're all together in spirit, of course. So as a young man, I was elected to be the bishop of this small town of Myra that is now in the nation that I think you call Turkey. It's in yes, the Middle right. East. And as bishop, I joined other churches as leaders as the Council of Nicaea. This was a very, very important meeting with lots and lots of men and women who came together to talk about the church. And that is where we drafted the Nicene Creed that you still recite during your church services today. Yes, it uh, begins, we believe in one God, the God, the Father. Father yep. Almighty, mm -hmm. maker of heaven and earth. Yes, that's the one, that's the one. You have that's right then, that's terrific, that's terrific. So in addition to all this, so a gift giver, a generous bishop, a leader of the early Christian church, something I think that a lot of people don't know is that you are also the patron saint of sailors. Now, yep. how did that come about? Yes, that's true. That's very true. You've done your homework, Bob. You have been a good boy this year. Very nice. Very nice. I yes, tried. Yes. So uh, when, when, when I made a pilgrimage to the Holy Land um, when I was a bishop, and I wanted to learn more about Jesus, and so I went to the place where he walked and where he taught and where he grew up, and, and when I came, when I was on my way there, I was returning home, and I was going by sea. I was in a boat, and there was a terrible storm that threatened to wreck the ship that I was on. And so what did I do? I decided just to calmly pray. And the terrified sailors were amazed when the wind and the waves suddenly calmed and it spared all of us. So it was a wonderful experience. Fantastic. And, in, in, and so this was a time that there was much fear and everyone was very worried, but we were all saved. That's great. And you saved through prayer. Absolutely. Yes. That's terrific. 
Well, um, you are known to us as St. Nicholas. In fact, this is your feast day, the feast day of St. Nicholas. But in other countries, you're actually known by different names and, and other countries have different customs to celebrate you as St. Nicholas or whatever name they call you. Can you describe some of those other customs and the other names that you're known by? Yes, yes. Your homework continues to serve you well, Bob. This is true. For example, in the Netherlands, I'm known as Sinterklaas. And in every town, there is a parade to welcome me. It's very, very wonderful. Children put their shoes out by, uh, on the windowsill. So instead of uh, putting stockings by the fire, they put shoes out on the window or on the door of the fireplace, hoping to find them filled with chocolate or coins or small gifts. In Russia, I'm the most rever revered of all the saints, and I'm recognized as a protector of the weak and of the poor. I'll also tell you that in Italy, in some cities, children put out plates with letters asking for gifts and promising to be good in the coming year. And during the night, San Nicola fills most of the requests and piles the plates with chocolate and candies and other good things. So, so delicious. In the United States, of course, I am the saint who inspired the man that you know as Santa Claus. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we really appreciate you spending some time with us at Holy Family today, St. Nicholas. One final question. Do, do you have any message that you would like to share with the children of Holy Family? Yes, Bob, I would. I would like everyone to have a blessed Advent and a merry, merry Christmas. Gift gener giving and generosity are all responses to the wonderful gifts that we have all received from God. And the most important gift that we celebrate at Christmas in the gift of the Christ child himself. So I'll finish with this. May the peace of the Lord be always with you.